Hi friends, UPSC Civil Services Examination Prestanti Test Expected Question Analysis. You may expect this question from the UPSC interview board. Why have you opted for IAS and IPS over IFS in the service preference list? Most candidates tend to prefer IAS and IPS over IFS. Some may give IFS as second preference. Few will give IFS as first preference. Anyway, if you get this question, you should be able to provide a proper justified answer. Invariably, most candidates will answer on these lines. I want to work in India. I want to work for the Indian people. Some may even tell that they want to be closer with their loved ones and family members in India. Please do not answer like this. You have to give a proper, rational and matured answer which is justified. Now, you need to know the role of an IFS officer. Even though you are not going for IFS first, understanding the role of foreign services is very important. IFS officer engages in diplomacy. Diplomacy is the activity of maintaining friendly relationship with other countries. IFS officer is a career diplomat. She acts as a virtual bridge between India and the rest of the world. She works to strengthen the existing friendship between India and other countries. Even where there are pending issues or problems, she works to smoothen the relationship. She works to expedite signing of important agreements and trade deals. Today we are struggling to sign trade deals with many important countries like UK, Australia, Israel, GCC and so on. IFS officer has a duty to implement India's overall foreign policy and various foreign policy initiatives under the larger foreign policy. The world is a global village today. There are common goals and interests as well as challenges for all countries. Trade, investment, economic development, infrastructure development, research, education, all these are common goals and interests. Extremism, terrorism, climate change, these are common challenges. So the role of an IFS officer becomes very crucial at the international stage. Now coming to this justification, IAS and IPS only works for India. This is wrong. IFS officer also works for India. He works for Indians. Millions of Indians, members of diaspora are living abroad. Many hardworking NRIs are bringing much needed income to the country. This is a great strength. They work in regions like Gulf. Many employers are ill-treating the NRI employees. We have to take care of them. There is a need to sign more totalization agreements with other countries since many NRI workers are not guaranteed proper social security. Quite often many NRIs get affected in regions that are witnessing violence, insurgency and wars. The recent Ukraine-Russia war was an example where we had to bring back our students studying in Ukraine. So these are great challenges. The IFS officer works for Indians. IFS also has a developmental role. IFS officer strengthens a friendship with other countries. Represents India in different forums like UN. Expedites signing of important agreements and trade deals through diplomacy. Only if these are accomplished, we will get investment and technology from other countries. We may engage in joint technological research. Only if these are done, then only the IAS officer working in India can implement various policies and schemes for the economic development of the country. Did you get the point? India, Japan, bullet train project agreement. This was accomplished because of diplomacy. The diplomacy brought the countries very closer. Now we are collaborating to develop this infrastructure. Just a simple example for you to understand. Diplomacy plays a greater role here. So don't undermine the role of an IFS officer. Okay, how to answer for this question? Please answer on these lines. Sir, I will be very happy to work in the Indian Foreign Service. But I sincerely feel that IAS and IPS provides an opportunity to work at the grassroots level. Through these services, I can stay 
connected with the people directly and create a greater impact on the lives of many people. These two services provide a larger public interface. I will get the opportunity to directly help the poor and vulnerable, the marginalized and the backward. So I would like to make use of the opportunity if I get chosen for IAS or IPS. In any case, I'll be more than happy to work in IFS also. Thank you.